Hi, Mark Gordon, goldenticker.com on Tuesday, May the 15th with a silver report. Let's take a look at silver. This is a daily chart, lost almost 2% today. Nasty day, been in a nasty sell-off. Got a downward sloping channel, just falling out of bed here with the silver. Uh, we got to a low of 26.79, closed to 26.89. So down near the lows, uh, down near the lower end of this channel line that I've drawn, down below the Bollinger Band even. So, so just in free fall here. Uh, volume uh, uh, just about average, a little bit less than yesterday, but um, uh, second day of, uh, of fairly heavy volume uh, on the way down. No support in sight except the previous low at 25.65, 25.65. So uh, a little better than a point down below. We could start seeing some support here and maybe get a bounce. Um, but just uh, a lot of red here. Uh, you can see it here in the volume bars here. So a lot of down days. Uh, actually, one um, uh, up day out of looks like at about, about 10 or 11 uh, down days. So pretty nasty. Now we go to a weekly chart of uh, silver, the SLV. We see we're down about 4.3% on the week. And this is only, only the second day of the week. Uh, we got down to this lower Bollinger Band here, this gray area. Now, the Bollinger Bands are a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within them 95% of the time. So we could get a bounce uh, here. Didn't get it today. Uh, we might be pushing this Bollinger Band down lower. But uh, this is a sign where um, you know some traders want to support us here. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, just because there's a Bollinger Band uh, down there does not mean it's going to support prices. So you can see the uh, fourth down week in a row here. Had a little bit of an up week and then two previous down weeks. So we did have a consolidation going on here, sideways move, uh, developed a little bit of, a, of a, a support area down here. Didn't happen though. Crashed right through it last week and continuing the fall down this week. And moving on now to a monthly chart of the SLV. This is the big picture here. Uh, we can see that we ran up very strongly from the 08 lows all the way up to a high of almost $50 on the silver price. And it's been downhill ever since. Uh, fell back here, uh, tried to come up off of support at the 10-month moving average, but crashed through that in a big way here about midway through last year. Just a big hammer down day. Got support down here at the green line, the 20-month moving average. Rode that up for a while. Had a couple hiccups here, but rode that up until uh, a couple of months ago, we, this, uh, we gave way, and now we're, looks like we're coming down all the way here to the 40-month moving average for a test, which we haven't done uh, since the beginning of 2010, and that is at 24.39, 24.39. Uh, like I said before, closed at 26.87 today. So um, coming down here to retest possibly this low here, 25.65. Uh, if we hold above this low, we could have what's called an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which would actually be bullish. So uh, taking out 25.65 will be significant. It will put us further into a downtrend and set up a test of this 40-month moving average. Uh, so really nothing to like about silver here other than it is correcting sharply, and sometimes sharp corrections do get sharp rebounds. But uh, so far, uh, nothing to get excited about to the long side of silver. Now, one thing I have to say is I truly believe the precious metals are going higher. I think that uh, the only way that politicians feel they can fix the problems without getting their head handed to them uh, at election time is to print money. And uh, this is exactly what they're doing. Uh, they tried to do uh, austerity plans in Greece, and you saw how that went. Uh, they, uh, Sarkozy tried to uh, uh, propose things like that in France, and he got his head handed to him. So politicians are very wary of this. They know what's happening. Um, I think they may talk about tightening and, and cuts and all this, but at the end of the day, they're going to print money. They're going to flood the system with more easing to keep the interest rates down, keep things flowing, and keep their jobs. And uh, this ultimately will be bullish for the precious metals. I don't know when. Um, you know, markets uh, move when they want to move, but the underlying fundamentals have not changed. That's just my two cents there. I could be wrong. Sometimes I am. But thanks for listening, and take care, and, uh, you know, hang on to your money. Thanks.